Hey there, how you doing? So today I'm going to talk about the Nikkor S 58mm or 5.8cm as it's written, f1.4. Um, when I self-published my book about um, Nikon film cameras, which one is right for you, I believe I referred to this as possibly the, the worst prime lens Nikon ever made in terms of optical quality. And, and that may be true. That may be a true statement. Um, people who collect this lens generally do so either for historical reasons or it is collected specifically for its optical defects. Um, I'm not an optical engineer and I don't claim any training. I have used this lens quite a bit. Um, it has a distinctive look to it. Uh, but in terms of optical quality and defects, I think I'll just let Nikon speak for themselves. I, um, I wrote down here some highlights from, the, um, from a couple of entries in the, uh, the Thousand and One Nights uh, blog written by Nikon's optical engineers. Uh, I'll link to that down below. And um, they, uh, um, well, let's just see what they had to say about it. So here are some quotes. The, uh, this lens is, oh shoot. Let's see what it is. Okay, so it is typical of early Gauss type lenses. Uh, field curvature persisted in small measure. That's a bit of a euphemism. Uh, coma correction was imperfect. There is considerable flaring at full aperture. Resolution somewhat inferior to the latest lenses. It's not clear to me if latest lenses, and that uh, refers to latest of the period or latest today. I think it meant latest of the period back in 1960 when it was introduced. Um, barrel distor distortion persisted to a small extent. Um, Nikon was not completely satisfied with the Nikkor S Auto 5.8 centimeter f1.4. This is from the introduction of the um, the blog entry describing its successor, the um, the, the pre AI 50 millimeter f1.4. Um, in terms of performance, uh, let's see here. Further improvements were necessary. Okay, you, you notice sort of a pattern of of, of understatement and, and euphemisms. Um, it suffered, uh, the 5.8 centimeter lens suffered in comparison to the Nikkor S Auto 5 centimeter F2. That is not the, um, not the 50 millimeter F2, which, which we all know and love, but the earlier one, the early version, um, we introduced originally with the, with the F, uh, which was, you know, I, I, well, I don't know. I've never run that lens. I shouldn't say anything about it. Due to inferior resolution caused by the persistence of coma flare, visible at the center of images and curvature of field. And once the lens, that is the 5.8 centimeter, had outlived its usefulness, production ceased. So um, those, are, those are direct quotes from Nikon's optical engineers describing the 5.8 centimeter f1.4, which was in production from March 1960 to March 1962. And as soon as Nikon had finished up the, um, the pre-AI 50mm f1.4, they euthanized uh, this puppy right here. Um, so I recently shot a model at a park uh, with this lens and, uh, and several others. Um, and I just, I just want to show you what, what is the look? What kind of a look can you expect out of this thing? Personally, I like it I mean, I, under certain circumstances. It, it does give a, a definite vintage feel and look to it. There's no question about it. Um, and if you're looking for that kind of thing, you don't, you know, you don't get it from most Nikkors. Um, most Nikkors are much more refined and smooth than what you find with, the, with this, you know, this thing right here. So I will leave a link down below to my Flickr page. I figure the more, the more often I refer to my Flickr account, the more incentive I will have to finally get my website up and running as I've been promising for way too long and stop procrastinating. I'm, I'm trying to sort of shame myself into <laughs> getting motivated to, to get that website up and running. And when I do, I'll probably just swap out the link. Um, but for the time being, I did put, uh, there are a number of images, including those from a recent model shoot uh, with some very good background illustrations to, so to give you a feel of what you can expect out of one of these. Um, so take a look at that. If you're a shooter collector like me, then you may be interested in, in picking one of these up. Um, just for its particular unique look. Um, I think for portraiture shots, it does, it, it can lend a certain um, vintage uh, feel to the image. So that, that's really why I got the thing, why, why, I, why I use it. Um, so, okay, that's about all I've got for you today. Uh, take a look at those pictures, uh, you know, make up your own mind. 
and I um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and uh, check out the links below. Um, if, you, uh, if you do subscribe, you will be able to enjoy all of my content commercial free for 30 days. I do not monetize videos as a matter of policy for 30 days following release. So subscribe and hit the notifications and uh, see everything I, I do for uh, uh, commercial free. Thank you so much. Glad to have you along. Take care. Bye-bye.